Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to check a microamp signal in a Brian furnace. Well, any furnace for that matter, uh, but we get a lot of questions on flame rectification, how it happens and how it takes place. So I want to clear up a few misconceptions about how you check a flame rod. First thing, we are checking a microamp signal. That is a microamp, one millionth of one amp, one millionth of one amp. The only way you're going to be able to check that is in series with your meter. It has to read through the meter. You can't use your typical clamp on that you use for other ampage. The signal's just too low to do that. The first process that takes place in flame rectification is the printed circuit board puts AC voltage at the end of the flame rod. That voltage is always there. I'm going to demonstrate that. I'm going to set my meter on an AC voltage scale. I unplug the rod, plug in one meter lead, and touch it on ground. And you will see that my meter is showing about 38 volts AC. That voltage is always there. When the flame comes on, it acts as a DC rectifier. It'll rectify the voltage. The current will then flow through the flame. The flame is the conductor against the housing and out through this ground rod. That is the flow from the board up to the rod, through the flame, out through this ground wire. The flow or the signal is not from the rod to the board. The flow is this way. It's going to ground. I'm gonna demonstrate how to check a flame rod and read that microamp signal. We're looking for a signal above about one microamp. These boards will go into ignition lock at about 0.5 or something like that. Then you'll get a 34 and it'll retry again. 34 is an ignition failure. Then it'll eventually go to a 14, which is a lockout if it doesn't light enough time. I'm gonna call for heat and I'm gonna show you how this looks. Inducer motor comes on, makes the pressure switch. The first thing that's going to happen is the igniter is going to come on. The igniter is timed, 14 to 16 seconds. Five seconds to light the flame, to go all the way across, two seconds to prove it. I'm going to take this other rod, and I'm going to stick it on this flame rod right here, and I'm going to move my meter to a microamp signal. That's the scale for the signal. Slid off there. All right, back on the rod. Igniter is on. Flames are going across. We're looking for a signal. Right now we're at 0 0.7, 0 0.9. Need higher than that. There's one. 1.1, 1.2. That is actually a fairly low signal. That's how you check it. If you see, I was in series with the flame rod. If you get down around one, you want to be higher than that. You probably want to be somewhere two, four, six microamps. The boards will drop out. I always tell everybody, if you go to work on any of the units, you got an ignition failure, check your microamp signal first. Know what that is. You see that one was 1.2. If I clean the rod and it goes up to four, I know I fixed it. If I clean the rod and it only goes up to 1.3, there's something else probably wrong. Always check your microamp signal first. And if you got a flame ignition problem where it's coming across and it's dropping right back out, it looks like it's not proving on the rod. The first thing you want to check is to make sure you got AC voltage at the rod. If you don't have AC voltage at the rod, you can't get a microamp signal. You can't get DC voltage. Got to have AC to get DC. With that, let me finish and say, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. Hope you found it uh, helpful. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. So this way when we put up new videos, you'll be notified.